Hello everybody, it's the Grovet here, and I am back again with another Steven Universe Theolog. And today's episode is out of uh, is out of focus. And today's episode is Tiger Philanthropist. And in this episode, by the way, a philanthropist is a well uh, no not wealthy, a generous benefactor of monetary goods. I think is what they said in the episode. I learned a new word today, and I'm gonna use it all the time in every situation, in every sentence. I'll find a way. I'll use semicolons so it'll make sense. Anyway, in this episode, um, sort of continuing the events of Tiger Millionaire, which was like the tenth episode of the show. What are we at? Like a hundred and like twenty now? It doesn't matter. I don't think they've even mentioned it since. It's weird, but I digress. Um, Stephen and Amethyst apparently still do the Tiger Millionaire uh, wrestling underground thing every single Saturday night, which is, you know, cool. i sort of surprised they never mentioned that, like, ever. Whoa, those colors just drastically went down right there. And, uh... Come on, work with me. Work with me. Oh, look at this. And, uh, anyway, so they're hanging out, uh, and... They're, you know, they're doing a wrestling match against, like, the Shark Fin, I think his name is. But it brings no pleasure any longer to our good friend Amethyst, who says that as the Purple Puma, she's going to quit right then and there and never come back to wrestling. And she does, actually. But Steven, as he enjoyed wrestling with Amethyst, it's like, come on. Come on. As he enjoyed wrestling with Amethyst, uh, yeah, that's all right. As he did, sorry, as he enjoyed wrestling with Amethyst, um, as it was, so to speak, their thing, really is unhappy to hear that she no longer wants to wrestle. So he goes in himself as Tiger Millionaire with a new persona as the Tiger Philanthropist, where whenever he beats someone up, he'll give him a whole bunch of money, sort of, because that's what uh, he thinks will please his friend Lars, of course. Oh, really, the colors come back now? Anyway, what he thinks will please his friend Lars, you know, you know who Lars is. And it turns out that that doesn't, because Lars does not like that now Tiger Philanthropist throws away his money. He sort of just seems like a, like a big show now. So Steven sort of talks to Amethyst about it, and Amethyst says that she only did it to feel better about herself because she didn't feel she was strong enough to be on the team. And now that she does, there's sort of no point in doing it anymore. And Steven feels the same way. So they decide that uh, they may as well go out with a bang, and they do. Uh, Purple Puma shows up during the uh, during the final wrestling match in which the belt, heavyweight belt, is being suspended above the arena, and all these different wrestling teams come in and try to get it. And they do. I mean, these two guys, I think the handsome duo, something like that, it's like, it's like two of me, uh, come in, yep, 100%. It's like, uh, come in, and they they get the belt, and, you know, they're the new heavyweight champions of the beach city, and Steven and Amethyst sort of just wink at each other in a little, in a, in a scene that was a little too, too suggestive. Is that just me? It seemed a little weird. I don't know. It was a seductive wink. I'm really weird. Uh, but I digress. Oh, look at those pants. Um, and, uh, the episode just sort of ends with that, and... Like I said at the beginning of the vlog, it's really weird that they came back to the Tiger Millionaire, you know, storyline. Uh, literally almost a hundred episodes after the original one aired, and they've sort of never mentioned it since. I think the only time they've ever mentioned it again is that one time that uh, Amethyst, you know, turns into the Purple Puma for something in, like, a mission. But even then, I thought that was just, like, a callback. It is sort of weird that they've... They, they don't imply, they straight up say that every single Saturday night they do the wrestling match, and it's sort of weird that they've never mentioned that in the show until now. I mean, maybe some people wanted closure, I guess, for the Tiger Millionaire, you know, storyline, but I I think you could sort of let it go after, like, 50 episodes, nevertheless 100. I mean, nobody, I don't really think there were too many people that were asking for more Tiger Millionaire episodes, but it's a new episode of Steven Universe, so I guess who cares? Uh, I thought it was fine. I thought it was a fine episode, but it the fact that how strange it is that they pulled this of all things to go back to and then just like close up is really that'd be like if I went back and I recorded the entire the, like my entire first episode of Cartoons vs. Cancer, but I just like made the lighting better. I mean, did and nobody really asked for it, but I guess that it sort of leaves some closure to the original. 
eh, it's it's weird. It's weird, but I don't judge. I don't have. To, I can't judge the episodes for what they are. You know what they could be. I got to judge them for what they are. And what it is isn't an, isn't all right episode. It's nice to see. Uh, it's nice to see how much Stephen cares for Lars. You know, a character that we don't feel. You know, the mutual acquaintance of. And it's nice to see that even though Lars can be a jerk, Stephen still. You know tries to find ways to make him happy. He practically wouldn't have came back to the wrestling thing if it wasn't for Lars. And, yeah, you could argue that he did do it for Amethyst, but he still quit after, you know... He did it for Lars, okay? Can you just, can you just give me that? Uh, but besides that, I think, I, think it was just, I think it was just a fine episode. There's nothing completely striking. Oh, wait, no, there was. There was. Okay, so as the art nerd I am, I really, really, really like that whenever uh, somebody... In the because it was a wrestling episode, obviously there was a lot of fighting, and whenever somebody would make contact with another person, you know, like punch him in the face, or like kick him or something, the the screen would like stop, and or this you know the screen would freeze and it would go into this like red, white, and blue sort of old timey styled, like not painting but just sort of like billboard uh, picture, and I thought that was really cool, like an old Roy Lichtenstein looking thing. That's I don't know, I'm a nerd because that was just super cool. Uh, I. I, you know, I should have used that for one of the thumbnails. I already have the thumbnail, so, oh well. I don't even remember what it is. Nobody cares. Um, but besides that, alright episode. I mean, nothing to complain about. It wasn't striking, but there wasn't anything in there that I could really complain about, except for the sort of weird, you know, concept. But besides that, yeah, fine episode. Uh, see you guys later. Goodbye. Where's the off button? Eh. <laughs>